Hey guys, DCT Mates here. Well, I went and did it. I uh, <laughs> took out the electric pump, believe it or not. I said I was done with this, moving on to another project, but uh, alas, poor Yarrick. <clears throat> um, I, it was working beautiful. You saw it on the last video. Came back to start it, wouldn't start. Went through five sets of plugs. Even with the bypass filter, it was still too much pressure. Then I was watching a video by uh, one of the guys, what's his name, uh, uh, Computer Redneck, something like that. Anyway, um, he said one of the pumps that's sold is sold in error, saying it's like, you know, one, one and a half PSI. And to look at the numbering on it, sure enough, it got sold a lemon. It's been trying to run... Um, 2.5 to 4 and even with the bypass that was still too much you could see it actually lapping up in the throat of the carburetor on the air intake side so at this point um as you can see zoom in here a little bit i put the old beating heart back in right there uh, actually it's not the old one it's a it's a new one um diaphragm pump run off Crankcase pressure pulse right there over and into the diaphragm pump. Fuel in at the bottom, fuel out at the top. Had a little problem getting it going to start off with, but uh, yesterday I moved it all over, and as you see here, took out the uh, took out the gas tank, all of the Mickey Mouse stuff down here. Let's see if we can show you down there. No more pump. No more switch, no more nothing. But, okay, so, if this fixes it, I think I know part of the reasonings maybe behind the problems with the um, with the original diaphragm pump, which is what a lot of people have had a problem with. But uh, uh, let's give it a shot. I don't even know if it needs choke. It's 40-odd yeah, it's degrees, and, and it's cold. So let's give it a whirl. See if it works. I don't know if I should put choke on or not, but we'll give it a whirl here. That's with a little bit of choke on. I doesn't want to run without the choke on, that's... He's going to get some heat into it. It's much more warm blooded obviously on the diaphragm than it is on the pump. Just overflowing the engine, overflowing the carb. So I've um, got it. I've actually got my foot on the accelerator a little bit. Not a lot, but. Let's choke on. That's a choke off. See if we can get it to idle. Definitely warm-blooded. 
back on the back on the diaphragm. When it was warm yesterday, running this way, there was a little uh, idle. It would idle, and then it would surge up a little and back. And that could just be the jets on this DSX 670 car, which is a little bigger than what this the normal goes for a 24 horse. This, uh, and obviously this is 22 Predator, but um, Just a hair of the pedal on right now. Chokes off. <laughs> I may need to turn the idle up a little bit. Other than when it's warm, obviously. Okay, foot's coming off. So definitely more warm-blooded with the diaphragm. Than the uh, than the uh, electric pump. As you can see down here, we got a gas tank down there. Obviously important that um, the tanks below the engine, unless you've got some kind of really good shut off. But uh, that seems to be working pretty well. There's a, there's a, as you listen, there's a little bit of surge. It'll calm, and then it'll just come up a little bit. It's probably the jet. There. And I'm not touching the pedal. Here we go, see? We knock it out. Yeah, took over needs to come up just a tad when it's cold, but then there'll be too much when it's warm, obviously. I put fast fire plugs in it, the equivalent of uh, what is it? Champion 12CNY. I'll have to check on them numbers, but uh, also all the gas that had gone by being forced through, even with the bypass filter. Burnt off yesterday. It was in the mufflers, it was soaked into the pipe, skin, I mean, it was a right mess. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it off, we'll see if we can start it again. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can start it again with little or no pedal. That's not bad. So unfortunately still a little bit more work to do but uh, that's that's better than what it was when it was absolutely spanking brand new and I think part of the reasons that what is this three and a half nearly four years now when the, the Cushman has a tank originally down here and it's uh, it was all rusted and in a terrible shape and I, I cleaned it all out, rocks, you know, three, four hours, backwards and forwards cleaning. But um, there may still have been a fair amount of junk in. And when I traded it over onto that tank, not the red one that you guys have seen, onto the, I've never filmed it, but uh, old black tank, I think it forced a bunch of junk into the diaphragm, the original diaphragm pump that came with the Predator. And that may have been part of the issue why I thought, I was having different issues with with carburation. It, probably it was the pump wasn't working real well. But um, I tested the uh, fuel pump that I had on here, 
turns out definitely 2.5 to 4 way more pressure than when you pull this the top pipe off here that's going to the carburetor compared to that three four times the physical volume obviously pressure higher so but that's the latest on this i'm afraid there's probably going to be a couple more videos now because uh, now i can stop um the thoughts of you know finding a honda um to replace this or something else but uh, that's running pretty good here look it's burning still burning off the gas and this ugly pipe down here there was so much gas print punching through it and again probably flooding out really bad so that's it you guys have a good day stay safe dct makes out bye